Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for are they into you or not? So we're going to be finding out whether this person in regards to love is into you or not. We have group one, group two and group three. The timestamps for each of the videos, uh, sorry, each of the readings, <laughs> whether that's group one, group two or group three, are going to be in the description box below so you can skip ahead to whichever group reading you feel more drawn to. Just before that, I want to make a quick announcement that if you would like to win a free reading with me. Information is going to be in the description box below on how you can enter. It's so simple to enter. And then if you would like to book a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below. And my bracelets, which I have handmade by myself, those are going to be linked down below as well. And they are three pounds with free international shipping and they are spiritually charged and handmade by me and yeah they're going to be down there they are intention bracelets for different areas of your life whether it's love career protecting you from the evil eye and then there are also zodiac ones on my etsy as well so let's get started so we're going to start with group one then we're going to move to each of the other groups and i am just going to move the cards so let's move group one over and then Move. Sorry, group two over and then group three over as well. Okay, so let's start first of all with group number one and see, you know, are they into you or not? All right, let's have a look at the messages. So first we've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We've also got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then the third card here is finances and career. So it says here, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I do feel this person is someone that does, you know, genuinely have feelings for you. However, right now they're very much focused on external areas of their life, be it finances, career, family, you know, other issues that are really taking over in their life. So they're distracted by a lot of that, they're focusing on a lot of that, and they're just putting a lot more into that than they are into their love life. So right now, the big message coming through, especially with Free Yourself, you know, is about making sure you put time and effort into yourself, put all of that energy into yourself, only give this person as much as they are giving you, but to also know deep down that this person is worth waiting for it and that divine timing is that you know work in your love life this is going to happen in divine timing it's going to happen when the timing is right right now that timing isn't right but as you know you progress I do feel this person will come back around they will be very very much so wanting you and there are feelings there in this person as well towards you but right now they're really focusing on other factors other areas of their life and that's showing through really strongly with the finance and career card in terms of freeing yourself this just means clearing up some space and energy within yourself and within your you know around you so if you're giving a lot of time and energy to this particular person give that time and energy to yourself until they show more to you just because you know you want to wait for someone doesn't mean that they deserve all of your time and energy. Put that into yourself and you'll find yourself growing stronger and just feeling a lot better as well. You can do things like meditation, yoga, journaling and adapt different ways of mindfulness that will just make you enjoy the moment for what it is. Rather than always thinking about the future, you want to make sure that you know even though you are thinking about the future, you're not so consumed by the future that you miss out on the present moment. So that is what free yourself really means. It's about taking control of the situation right now, using mindfulness and just focusing on the present and knowing deep down that this person is worth waiting for. And at the end of the day, you will have the decision to make. You'll be, you know, you have that choice. We've got here secret admirer. So this is the image. And it says here, secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So this person does have feelings for you. However, they are so consumed with other things that they just aren't tapping into that part of their life right now. They will in the future. That's why, you know, I do see them telling you that, letting you know that things are going to happen in divine timing. But right now, they're not telling you they're not really communicating that across to you and they're not really showing you something really, really strong. That's what I'm feeling. But I do feel as time progresses, they will. 
So there are feelings down there. But again, you know, they're pushing those feelings down and they're focusing on other areas. So they're not allowing, you know, these distractions to allow those those distractions essentially those are the things that they're working on so they're they're just they're using that as a distraction as well um, but they're really focusing on these areas in their life which is very important to them and they don't want these love distractions essentially we've also got here trust so it says here transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will tran it will automatically transform so this is really about making sure you acknowledge the situation you put more focus into yourself you know i do believe that this person is into you but things are going to take time to manifest this person does have feelings for you they are into you but again they're really focusing on different areas of your life and i do feel you have to also just mirror that in the sense of putting energy and time into yourself, putting yourself at number one because you are number one. So knowing that deep down and allowing yourself to feel that is very important. You know, really taking that, you know, all of that back, you know, putting all of that time and energy into yourself is very, very important. Yes, this person is worth waiting for and yes, they are into you. But again, you have to give them as much as they're giving you. That's the simple fact of it. And we also have here surrender. So it says here, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So in this situation, it's about taking control of the situation. Time, space, energy, putting it into, your, into yourself, surrendering to the situation, allowing things to unfold naturally. You know, that's really what's going to happen in this situation. Allowing it to unfold to the point where it feels new and fun and fresh and there's a rejuvenation. You know, allow this person to do as they are doing. They will come to you in divine timing when they are ready. But in the meantime, focus on yourself. Put all of that energy into yourself. They are into you, but they're focusing on other things. They do have deep feelings for you, but they're not telling you all of that and they will in time when they are ready so group number one that was your reading yes I do believe that they are into you but again things are going to take time to manifest and occur it's important for you to trust uh, the situation what is currently happening put time energy into yourself and just surrender and let things unfold naturally all right, so that is your reading. If this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video as well. Okay. Group number two. Let's have a look, you know, whether they are, you know, are they into you or not? So here is your, your spread. Really pretty crystals as well. So we've got here, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I'm seeing here specifically, don't be afraid to express your thoughts to this person. Sometimes it's very important to express so that you know where you stand. Don't feel like you're stepping on eggshells to communicate with this person. That is also not how love works. You know, you really have to communicate how you feel. How you feel is very, very important. So express what this person means to you. I'm also seeing in terms of how they, you know, are they into you or not? I am seeing that if you express something to them, you will also know how they feel towards you. So that's also important. But I do feel like they do feel things towards you. So I do feel they, they are into you because we've also got here soulmate. So yes, this is your soulmate. You guys are spiritually connected to one another. And as time progresses, we've got this card which is getting to know one another. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there is a spiritual bond here which is going, just going to continue to grow and grow. So, you know, are they into you or not? Yes, they are. Things are going to grow. Things are going to manifest. Things are going to build. You can express your feelings to this person. They will do the same. So that's what I'm seeing here. Don't be afraid to express yourself to this person. It's very, very important. And this will allow you guys to bond even deeper, not just in a, in a way of communication, but to build a spiritual bond, to build an emotional bond, to build a physical bond and to build that mental bond. Bonds in all layers. It's an onion. The love of onion. <laughs> the onion love. <laughs> 
We've also got here this card which says deep in your heart you already know the answer, do what feels right. For some of you you're very intuitive, you feel a strong connection with this person, you feel a bond, it's spiritual, there is something really strong here and so for a lot of you, you know, you already know what is right, you already know in this situation that you feel something and I do feel that this person really is into you. But again, there is some expressing that needs to happen. So there may be a lack of expressing. The more you express things to each other, I feel like, you know, this person will express things in their own time. But you can also not be afraid to express yourself to this person. You know, do what feels right. You know deep in your heart how you feel about this person. Express yourself to this person. It will help the connection. And you will know where you stand with this person. I also feel like deep down they need to do some expressing as well. So, you know, that's probably what needs to happen and they will do that in divine timing this person you know has a very deep spiritual bond with you and it's very very clear to see that especially with these cards and as you continue to you know share and express your love to one another and express how you feel about one another as well you will deepen that bond there is going to be a sense of vulnerability you'll feel so much more closer to one another as well and that's that idea of getting to know each other you will start to get to know each other spiritually, emotionally, you know, as I mentioned, on lots and lots of different levels. It's going to be like that onion, peeling back all the layers. We've also got here sacred union. It says here, honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So there is something really beautiful in this connection. They are into you. They do feel a bond. But again, there's expressing that needs to happen. They may not have expressed exactly how they feel towards you, which is leading you to feel a little bit confused. But I do see that there is something really, really, you know, spiritual, sacred. And essentially, this is what is going to manifest and occur. And I do see that sometimes they can get a little bit overwhelmed with it because, you know, spiritual bonds can be quite overwhelming and intense. But again, you know, that expression needs to happen. And, you know, Honour and treasure your relationship. It's sacred. There is something really special here. And I also feel that as time progresses, they will also honour and really cherish this, this very special spiritual bond that you guys have, especially with that soulmate card as well. Now, the other last card we have is this one. It says here, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Ta-da! <laughs> So, you know, you can you can allow yourself to know that in this situation things will work out, that there is joy in this situation, there is a bond that is going to deepen as you get to know each other more, and there is some expressing that really needs to happen. This expressing is positive because we have the soulmate card. You know, you can allow yourself the joy regardless of the circumstances that you find yourself in. So this does mean that regardless of how you feel right now, there is always a reason for joy and happiness and to feel that, and I do see that you... You will feel that with this particular person. Things are going to open up. You guys are going to get to know each other. And there is expressing that will take place and it will happen. And it could be you that is essentially initiating it. So that's what I am seeing in this particular situation, scenario, and group number two. There you go. There it is. I do believe that this person is into you and, you know, it's just going to take a little bit more time to really get things rolling. But there is expressing that needs to happen and this expression is going to allow you guys to come together emotionally and be so much closer with each other because there is a very sacred union here and we see that with this soulmate card, which is, of course, very, very beautiful and there it is. There it is. All right, so group number two, this was your reading. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video and let me know in the comment section below how this resonated with your situation. And I'm going to be moving on now to the last but not least group, which of course is group number three. So let me clear the path. Group number three, let's see if this person is into you or not. All right, so let me grab the cards and the crystal. Do a little bit messy. Ta-da! <laughs> this is a very small little crystal. But very beautiful nonetheless. All right, so let's see, are they into you or not? So we have got here, wow, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
very soon indicates yes, they are into you. Things are going to grow, things are going to manifest, things are really going to occur for the two of you. It says here, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. There it is. There it is. And we've also got past life relationship. So it says here, you have known each other before. So there's definitely a spiritual bond between the two of you where you feel like you know this person from somewhere else. You know when you when you meet this person, okay, and this particular person, you just feel like you've known them before. It's, it's like you just know them, right? This is that feeling that I'm getting where you just feel like you... You know, you know them from before, there's a reason why you're meeting and I do feel that this person is into you, right? There's a past life relationship and oftentimes when you meet someone from your past life, things can be intense, things can be crazy, you feel like you know them, but at the same time things may not go the way that you sometimes imagine them in your mind. That's what I'm seeing, but I'm also seeing very soon, which means that, yes, things are going to evolve, things are going to get onto the right track, there are going to be feelings that are going to be acknowledged, this is going to be happening in the near future. Stay optimistic about your, your love life, so this is about positive thinking, making sure you think positive. This can allow things to manifest, this can allow things to really occur in a very positive manner. So yes, I do think, I, I do think that you should be optimistic, I do believe that this person is into you, I do believe that they have feelings for you. Let's see what these cards say. So let's, there's this one here. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. This is about allowing that sense of freedom in this situation, allowing things to manifest naturally, allowing their feelings to come out to you naturally, and just allowing everything to, to come together. You know, there's closeness in both of these cards. That is something that's really going to occur and come together. I do feel that they are really into you. They think about you a lot. They feel very strongly towards you. They're going to be coming towards you very, very soon because there's that closeness that is going to come. Again, love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So this is about just allowing, you know, not being too attached to this person, just free-flowing, allowing things to happen, going with the flow of life and what it has to offer. That's really what it's showing as well. I've also got here new beginning. So this little message. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So things are really going to start getting you know, a move on with this particular person, they are into you, you're going to know how they feel towards you, you're going to know through their actions, their words, their emotions, their communication, you're going to know, and that big new beginning is going to start very soon with this particular person, it could be a person from your past, it could be a person, you know, past life relationship, that's what I'm seeing, but definitely someone from your past. Um, and of course, you know, it, it, even if it's a new person that's come into your life, I do feel like you have a past life bond, so that's what I'm trying to say. I've also got this card here, which says embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So it's almost like, you know, in these two cards that we have here, both the people are embracing. It's like finding that missing piece to the puzzle. This is what it feels like when you two come together and the other person feels this as well. And again, all of these feelings, all of these thoughts, communication, it's all really going to, you're going to know how this person feels about you through their actions, their words, their communication, their emotions, very, very soon, you will know that in your near future. So that is really, really positive and really incredible. So you're going to know that, you're going to feel that, stay optimistic, think positive, you know, positive thoughts can really, really help. But there is a past life connection here. You know, this can be a soulmate bond, a twin flame bond. Uh, there's something very spiritual about this particular connection, which I am seeing very, very strongly. And you've got embrace as well. And you see how these, you know, these two cars are a very strong embrace. You know, I am seeing something like hugs and cuddles and things like that very, very strongly for the future as well. So there's this feeling of closeness, a uh, feeling of physical attraction, chemistry, passion, a spark. There's something along the lines of, you know, that fire energy as well coming through very, very strong with chemistry. And this is all about, you know, positivity, thinking good, thinking happy, but also allowing space, allowing things to unfold very naturally in this situation, not being too codependent and attached to this person, just allowing things to flow 
and happen naturally. That is, you know, the way of, of things. I think that's how they like it as well, you know, just allowing things to happen naturally. And I do believe that they are into you and you will know this very, very soon as well with this very soon card. So group number three, that is your reading. If this resonated with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed. Check out the description box below on how to enter for a free reading as I am doing a reading giveaway every single month. And also don't forget to check out the private paid readings if you would like a private paid reading. And also my bracelets which are on Etsy, they will be linked down below. My Etsy shop will be there if you want to check those out or purchase bracelets. And I will see you all very, very soon. You can also follow me on Instagram, link will be down below. And I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever you all are. And thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.